Next question, question 53. Uh, consider the following. Uh, one, uh, a plus b means a is neither small nor equal to b. Since it's a big question, I will just note down as I read. a plus b means, so a plus b means uh, a is neither smaller nor equal to b. Neither smaller nor equal to b. That means a is uh, greater than b. So a minus b means a is not greater than b. a is not greater than b means a is less than or equal to b. Um, now a into b means uh, a is not smaller than b. a is not smaller than b means a is greater than or equal to b. Now a divided by b means uh, a is neither greater nor equal to b. a is neither greater nor equal to b. That is a is less than b is neither greater nor equal to b so a is uh, less than b so next statement is a plus or minus b which means a is neither smaller nor greater than b that means a equal to b so this is what uh, the symbol means now we will analyze the statement uh, the statements given are p into q p into q means P into Q is nothing but P is greater than or equal to Q. So P into Q means P greater than or equal to Q. Uh, next P minus T. P minus T means P is less than or equal to T. So P is less than or equal to T. Uh, T divided by R. T divides R means T is less than R. T is less than R. And R plus or minus equal to S means R equal to S. So R equal to S. This is the statement given. Now we will see using this statement whether the conclusions follow. So first is relationship between Q and T. So if you see P is greater than or equal to Q. Uh, so P is the larger number here. Um, and P is less than or equal to T. So we can say Q is from these two relations. We can say Q is less than or equal to T. So this is the relationship between Q and T. So the conclusion was Q plus or minus T. That is Q equal to T. That means Q equal to T. No, that is not true. Q can be less than also to T. So uh, conclusion 1 is false. So conclusion 1 doesn't follow. Now let's see conclusion 2. Uh, conclusion 2 ask about s s and q so we will see uh, we got q and t now t is less than r so since q is less than or equal to t using these two we can say that q is definitely less than r so even if q is equal to t since t is less than r q q has to be less than r so we got that now we know that r equal to s so from using these two we have q equal to less than s also so q is the q q is less than s from the given statement. Uh, the conclusion was s plus q. What does s plus q mean? S plus q mean s is greater than q, or that means q is less than s. So which is the same conclusion we got here. So uh, conclusion two is true. So our answer will be b. Only conclusion two follow from the statement. So solution to question fifty three is b. Only conclusion two follow from the statement.